bit of a chaos here in the studio because I have so many orders to do and uh, usually when I'm like focusing so much on like stitching everything gets kind of a mess so excuse the mess. But today we got a new leather order in which is really exciting. I've been waiting for this for like six weeks now and it's finally here so super excited about unboxing this. Because it's two different leathers that I've never used before so I'm super excited. It was really hard to get those but yes purchased them kind of expensive unfortunately took forever to get here but now they're here so the first one is kudu Hope this comes across on camera. Beautiful natural grain and natural scars. As you can see here, crazy texture. Super soft to the touch. And Kuru is basically a, I don't know what's it, what's it called in English, like an antelope. And yeah, basically lives and resides in Africa. So those skins, as you can imagine, are super hard to get. Obviously ethically sourced and everything, so don't worry about that. But yeah, they have like large horns and they fight a lot. So they have lots of like natural scars, which really got me intrigued. And if, when you look at this part, for example, you can tell those are scars. There was a proper fight probably as well. So yeah, ultra stoked about this one. Inside feels kind of soft, sort of like a new book. And yeah, texture and grain is amazing. Feels solid and sturdy, but it's still like Soft to the touch. Yeah, super excited about this one. Unfortunately, I only got one skin. It was the last one they had and I asked them and this is, for now at least, the last that they will have, will get. So this is unfortunately limited supply as it often is with my leathers, right? Because I'm always trying to find like the rare stuff and like hard to get pieces. And that ultimately means that there's not an unlimited quantity. So in this case, it was only one skin as you just saw it's not the biggest either. I'm thinking of maybe doing one sling bag and then maybe another like smaller bag out of it. Really excited leather number one. And then we have one more to open up. Ooh, okay, exciting. This is horse leather, a double front from the famous Horween factory in the US. Ultra sturdy. I was, I ordered this because I wanted to make belts. Let's see if that works out. Yeah, obviously, black as you can see and then the inside is natural dyed super thick super sturdy because it's basically a double front right those skins are pretty rare and pretty hard to get so to my knowledge the Hoween factory they, they can only produce like 20 of those per month which doesn't sound like it's super limited or whatever but like considering like a global scale and obviously companies like buying many, right? So probably hard to get one for a year or whatever, but I managed to get my hands on one and yeah, I'm soaked. Like the quality, even the inside feels pretty. Pretty, pretty amazing. So maybe you can, looks a bit shiny obviously because there's this big light coming down, but it's not shiny at all. But yeah, super big. So yeah, those are my two leathers that arrived today. One is Kudu, one is horse double front. Super excited what I'll do with those. Probably a sling bag as I said from the Kudu and definitely a belt from the horse, but maybe like a small bag, we'll see. So that's new leather number one that I'm getting. Um, I'm waiting for another shipment from Italy with a package of soft horse basically which I'm really excited about because I want to do more of these slim bags. But yeah, let's continue with today's work. Day two, studio vlog. I didn't film much yesterday because I was busy hand stitching a gazillion briefcases, sling bags. Like these days I have many orders. So I'm basically head down, hustling all day long. As you can probably tell from my fingers, right? It's obviously dye. I hope the result is worth it. So this is one of the sling bags I'm currently finishing. Here we have one of a couple of briefcases that I'm currently working on. You have the old Riri metal zip on the inside. Beautiful texture. And yeah, this is what it looks like from the outside. 
right? Still finishing touches that need to be done. For example, like the, the cord on the side. Here we have the Joker green version. You can see the cord on the side that is still missing here on the black one. So small touches to, to finish it off. But yeah, other than that, these days really like head down, get your fingers dirty. And if you could see like my table here, like everything looks like it's kind of a mess. Also I'm working on a new like studio bag and so like many different things. And you've seen the leather that arrived yesterday. So I'll probably make a cool belt from that. So lots of like projects in the works, I guess. But yeah, currently head down and proactivity and focus on quality and like get things right, like stitch by stitch to produce the best product that I can. And yeah, so it's currently like afternoon-ish, like four o'clock or something. And a friend is gonna come over. You've, if you follow his channel, you're probably familiar with him. Some people call him the avant-garde travel salesman. And that's what he is, right? <laughs> He comes here with like two big bags of stuff and wants to sell me stuff. It's always awesome, it's fun. We have a chat, we hang out, have a couple of beers. I try stuff on, we negotiate in pricing and stuff like that. So it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna be here in a couple of minutes. Before that, I have to clean up because it's kind of a mess.
So second shipment of leather has arrived from Italy. Should be soft horse, super excited, which I desperately need for a new sling bag. So let's open it up. So this is soft horse, the front part. It's basically two pieces, incredible quality. Again, looks a bit shiny, but that's just like the light that is coming straight down. So yeah, this is gonna be perfect for sling bags. And this is the second one. I'm sure if you can see a bit of the texture here. Yes, yeah, spring has finally come. Well, not spring, but it's a bit warmer. So I broke out the old deep tea coat. I'm pretty stoked. But yeah, so these days, unfortunately I couldn't film too much. Like I'm so busy like hand stitching all the time and I don't want to be interrupted. I thought about filming, but to me, like, as you probably know, I stitch everything by hand and it sort of becomes like a meditative process. And it feels like I'm being interrupted when I film and it takes too much time because I have so many orders that I have to focus on and that's my main priority. But nonetheless, today I will continue hand stitching all day long, enjoy a bit of tea here in the studio, maybe go out into the sun for a couple of hours, but let's see how it goes. So I'm pretty happy with my second shipment of leather. Now I'm fully stocked again for different leathers. I have something really exciting on the culata front coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. Working on many new designs, but also fulfilling orders. So yeah, Skinosh is like moving, 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 moving like crazy these days. So I want to thank everybody who supports me, who buys my products. And yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.